Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts. A scary view, you're seeing my face today. So today is a very exciting, monumental, amazing day. And Steve is gonna tell you why. We're going to St. Vinny's, yay. <laughs> yes, he is dropping me off. He's gonna go to run around and do some guy stuff. And for those of you who have been following me for a long time, you guys know that my most favorite place of thrift ever is St. Vinny's in Albany. And since we're back home visiting family for a week, um, I'm taking some time to go there. So what that means for you guys is I'll be doing um, a little mini haul when I get back to the house, my mother-in-law's house. And I'm gonna do my best to try to film when I'm in there. They do play music pretty loud and I don't wanna get hit with a copyright strike or anything. So what I'll do is I'll try to be as discreet as possible and just kind of film me looking through the racks and that kind of stuff. And I'll either have to do a voiceover or um, put my own music to it so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. So, all right, you guys, I will see you inside the store. Bye.
right, so I will be doing a proper um, thrifting haul share with you guys. Totally scored on these, so pretty happy about that. And then I've got three bags full of stuff. Um, now you guys saw um, I had quite a bit in my cart, and I'll throw some picks up if I haven't already by the time we go uh, get around to editing this video. But, um, you know, I, what I do is I pile my cart up high and with things I want, you know, and then I kind of shop around the store. And then right before I go to the checkout, then I kind of edit myself. I'll take things back and put them where I, I picked them up, of course. And what's there? Oh, those are some old record things I got. And that's a bunch of different textiles and laces and stuff. I'm so excited. Um, this is awesome. It's some purple um, fabric strips. And there's a lot there, so I have plenty to share. And I have no idea whether there's a random pin sitting right here. So I will take that out. Weird. Um, anyway, so uh, what was I just saying? <laughs> what was I talking about? Because I like to put it in my cart when I see it so I can think about it. Because if I don't, and I'm thinking about it as I'm shopping around, I'm going to go back and it's going to be gone. So that's kind of what I do. But I, you guys, for me, this is a really good uh, size, um, small shopping size from St. Vinny's for me. Um, cause I used to get a lot more whenever we still lived here. So I mean, it's still a lot. I'm not trying to act like it's not a lot of stuff cause, um, I know it is, but you know, anyway. All right. So I'm going to get the, the stuff washed up here at my mother-in-law's house and the things that I can wash. And, um, after dinner, I will, um, take some time to do a little quick thrift haul video, um, or share, I should say. And then, um, I'll get it uploaded so you guys can check it out. All right. See you soon. Hello everyone, Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts, and pardon the view for right now. So I do have a little fan going over there, and yes, it's purple. So I apologize if you hear that in the background, but it's hot, so I need to have some air blowing on me. So I wanted to do a video showing you guys the different goodies and treasures that I found at my recent trip to St. Vinny's. I also have a small bag of things that we found at a thrift shop in Idaho. Specifically, Star, I believe it was Star, Idaho, where we were. Anyway, so I'll show you that one um, once I get done with this. So it's going to be broken apart in different parts. I've got like fabrics and clothing here. And then I'm going to show you the different trims and things like that that I found, other goodies. So, first up, and this is awkward because I don't I usually film overhead, so I will try my best to hold this stuff up. Of course, it's blown in the fan too. But isn't that pretty? This is so pretty. I think this is on one of the end caps that I showed you guys when I was in the store um, walking around. So there's that. And these things are going to get washed. That's why they're on a plastic bag on the floor here. So, And then I have this round, pretty long, I'm trying to see if you guys can see it all, um, crochet doily. Really nice. And then this one, I didn't realize this was a pillowcase until I was cutting the tags off. Um, I just happened to see purple and I grabbed it really fast, <laughs> but this is a pillowcase. That's pretty cool. Um, I won't be using it as a pillowcase. I'll be, these are things I'm purchasing to, um, you know, put into my different um, fabric and fabric packs and slow stitch packs and also use in my actual crafting projects as well. My stitching projects specifically. And then here we just have this linen napkin and it's got that color on the edge there. I don't want it to look like it on the camera, but to me it's kind of just like a light green, or not a light green, but like just a, you know, just a little pretty shade of green, let's say. All right, and then here we have another linen piece here. It's got that lace on the side. Wow, this hurts my back doing it this way. <laughs> I'm getting old. Let me scooch closer to the camera here. I have you propped up on the bed on top of a, um, a shoe box, so hopefully it's you guys can see. Okay, so it has that lace edge there. And then this one, the way it was clipped on the hanger, I just assumed this was like a set of linen napkins because sometimes I will find a set of four, six, sometimes eight. And when I'm in there, I mean, I knew I wanted it regardless because I love the texture of it. And when I was taking everything apart, you know, off the, um, well, they take it off the hanger at the store, of course, but when I was bringing it home and going through it, I didn't realize that this is a pillowcase, I believe. So, and then there's that square right there. So this is just a really nice, heavy cotton, almost like a cotton linen blend. I'll hold this one up so you can see. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. These, this kind of stuff is great for background fabrics as well as using for, um, uh, like doing your different eco printing on and things like that. And then this piece here, 
I don't know what all the pieces are because when I'm thrifting, if I like it, I just take my cart and that's the end of it. So some of this stuff I haven't fully unfolded yet. So this looks like it's a window balance type of uh, material here and it's folded in half. I'll fold it in fourth so you can see how much there is. And it's got this lovely, this is upholstery fabric. And it's got that really lovely design on it. So there's that piece. And this is in one of those sets, at least at my throat. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in the earlier clips where they'll like bag up different types of miscellaneous fabric scraps and just like, you know, miscellaneous yardage of fabrics and stuff. So they had a lot there that I liked, but I only liked like maybe two or three of the fabrics and I didn't want to buy a whole bag just for that many because the other ones I would probably just redonate or something. So I grabbed this one. This one seemed to have the most... And again, it's my first time looking through it. So yeah, I'm really happy I grabbed this one. So the only uh, fabric in here that is not really something I probably would have selected on its own um, is this one here with the gold stars. But it's still cute nonetheless. I'll probably keep this for maybe some Christmas um, kits or something. Or I, I don't know. We'll see. But um, there's that that came in it. And then these are just some, um, I'm guessing, flower sack towels. Like I said, I, yeah, these are just flower sack towels here. So we kind of know what those look like. So there is one two and I'm really excited about this bit of fabric here. This is some old fabric. So first you can kind of get an idea what it that pattern on there. It's like a grid. There's that. And then this material here. This is it almost looks like it almost looks like it has like a leopard print in the background, but it doesn't. It's just because this is an older piece of material, I'm guessing. But it's kind of got that little sparkly line going through there. Kind of like some of the metallic um, embroidery thread that you can use. And then here is another um, towel. Gauzy type. There's another flower sack. And another flower sack. So I was happy to come across that. And let's see here. And then this, these were all in... Uh, like either hanging on, um, well, a hanger, <laughs> duh, Abby, or it was like just kind of rolled up or something and I went ahead and took the bands off. You'll see on these three here, I haven't done that yet, but so here is this length of material here. Really, really pretty. And I'll hold up one piece so you can, or, you know, single layer, I mean, so you can kind of see. It's kind of sheer there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see from this angle or not, but it's sheer. So, really nice fabric. Excited to play with that. And this one here, this is not Liberty fabric, but this looks like Liberty fabric when you first look at it, specifically the Strawberry Thief. And it's just, it's just because I first, when I first glanced at it, I was like, no way, that cannot be Liberty fabric, Liberty of London fabric, no way. And it's not, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. And so this will be something I'll be using in projects as well as cutting up some smaller pieces and putting into some future kits. So there's that. This is probably my most favorite thing I thrifted from this, or as far as textiles and stuff, I think. This, you guys, was a massive, massive score. I cannot tell you how much this is probably worth. This is upholstery fabric, and this is heavy upholstery fabric. My brother-in-law um, has an upholstery business, and so, and I've priced this kind of stuff before, different places when I'm looking online or going to estate sales, that kind of thing. This is so beautiful, you guys. Um, it's like a really soft blush pink. Uh, Steve is leaving us. Oh, Steve in the background. He's heading to the store. Um, the uh, guest bedroom's like right by the front door, so sorry if you hear any extra noise in the background. And so. I think you guys can see the pattern, but this is just beautiful, you guys. It's so, so pretty. And it has this lovely texture to it. And the flowers kind of have like almost a soft embossed kind of feel. And so this is yardage. This wasn't like, you know, um, a slip cover for a couch or something just torn off the couch and reused. This is actual yardage off the roll. And I'll try to hold this up. It's heavy to hold up the whole thing, but you guys can see that okay when I go to edit the video if I don't think you can see this very well um, in my opinion anyway I'll just throw a picture up but um, there are some lengths cut off of course that's you know natural I mean I expect that but there is still a ton on here I mean there is a lot I'm gonna have to see how many yards this is when I get home now this is something I'll wash when I get home because I have um, like you know drying racks and different you know fold out things that you can dry clothes and stuff on because I don't uh, 
dry the stuff in the dryer. I, you know, let it air dry. Matter of fact, that's mostly what I do for a lot of this stuff, except for like, you know, the flower sack towels or like this here is like bedding, that kind of stuff. I just put in the dryer on low. It's not a big deal. But this I'll wait till we get home. But I mean, there is a ton of that, you guys. And this is so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited to find this because I went to the, I went to St. Vinny's, you know, around three o'clock and they close at six. And I was surprised to find a lot of the good stuff that I did. Now, this one here, this is a full sheet, if I remember what the tag said. And I just think this is so pretty, like, you know, to cut up and stuff. And it's just beautiful. And I look at the stuff in the store to make sure there are no, you know, stains and, you know, anything that would not look pleasing to the eye to use. So um, I do check for that as well. And it has the ruffle right here on this side. If you guys can see that, okay. Yeah, there's a ruffle. This has a really pretty pattern. I mean, yes, there's purples in here, but I love the, the different tones of blues and kind of teal turquoise. I thought it was really pretty. So I thought you guys might enjoy um, that as well. And then this is some more yardage. This is actually older. I think this one's from when I looked it up. Hmm. Well, I'll, I will Google this when I um, go to edit the video and I'll let you guys know. I'll put it across the screen. But this is how this material looks here. This room is very reminiscent of a, uh, what was it my mom had made? It was like a, a mattress cover for like a, a baby doll bed that I had. And it kind of looks like that. And had like a matching diaper bag and stuff. But anyway, I thought that was really pretty. So I have a few yards of that at least. So there's that one. And for these ones that are rubber bonded. Let me, I'm not sure why I kept those on. Let me um, snip these band-aids. Uh, band <laughs> Let me snip the rubber pants off and then I can show them to you guys. Again, I don't know why I forgot to take those off, but um, that's what I, I will do right quick. So I, they have quite a few um, remnants of like different textiles and stuff, but um, you know, I, uh, I'm not, it's not like I'm being more selective. I, I don't think that's really the word I'm looking for, but um, I guess I'm not, I don't know what the word is, but I don't want to buy a bunch of this kind of stuff just because it's super you know a super good deal and you get a lot for what they're asking i guess i'm trying to be a little bit more mindful um as far as like what i purchase and like the storage of it because if we were still living here in albany i had a two-story craft room and i had a, um about half of an rv bay just for my stuff and we don't have that luxury where we're living right now in montana because we sold our home here and we're living in a um you know, temporary situation until Steve and I find property in a house we want to buy or and build on or whatever. So um, I don't have the same amount of storage for crafting stuff and fabrics and things that I used to. Now we do have a storage unit here in Oregon that holds up most of our stuff, holds most of our possessions, and then I have um, a trailer uh, at home, or in Montana, I guess that is home now, that I call Abby's Annex. And so I have stuff in there. So I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of what I purchased. So I have, you know, the things I really like and the things I'm really interested in in my um, smaller space right now. So, but once we get our own place again, whoo, no holds barred, let me tell you. Anyway, so there's this one here, this chunk of upholstery fabric, and I like the colors and the tones. And this first time again, me seeing this um, opened up because it was, you know, rolled up in the store. But man, this is really, really pretty too. Look at the collars in there. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so fun to applique with this. To do some hand, um, hand stitching with that. But there's that pretty print there. And then last but not least for this, some more upholstery. As you guys can see it, hopefully. You can see kind of the full print. Really, again, really, really lovely florals. So, so these larger pieces like this, I will um, probably wa end up washing when we get back home. So... I'll just kind of wash some of the smaller stuff. And, okay, here we go. So a couple articles of clothing. I came across these two women's jackets. Okay, I had to change my position. I was sitting crisscross applesauce and my knees were starting to hurt, so. Okay, so this first one here, let's put you over there. I love the colors in this. And I'll hold it up close so you can see it here in a moment. But I wanted you to see the whole jacket. And I love this material, the texture of it, the different, the weave of it, and the different the tones and colors. I just think it's really, really pretty. And so I grabbed this jacket so I could deconstruct this once I get it washed, and I'll do that back at home. 
and I'll probably do a video so I can kind of chit chat with you guys because um, I've had people in the past when I've been thrifted or showing thrifted things and they were curious like how I cut up uh, maybe a jacket like this and getting the most material that you possibly can from it so I'll um, save that for that kind of a video and then it has these lovely oops lovely buttons on it and this was in their what they call their vintage um, section of the store and I'm pretty sure I showed that to you guys too this is a couple days later so I don't remember exactly everything that I um, showed you guys in the video until I go to edit and it has pockets and stuff of course but I'll hold it up so you can see the pattern and the texture so you know if you're looking for different fabrics and things like this when you go to thrifting stores yard sales um when i i mean obviously we all know clothing is made from fabric we get that but when i go thrifting and hitting yard sales and things i see the clothes as just like you know bolts of fabric i guess you could say and so i just look for like the print and the texture i'm not looking you know for clothing for me to wear or anything like that and so that's kind of the way i look at this kind of stuff all right and up next we have this lovely beautiful purple a um, really thick kind of heavy fabric uh, jacket and it has this nice um, kind of like a plummy amethyst colored uh, lining on the inside and uh, you know of course it's the this is a women's jacket and it has some buttons on the side here I think there's only yeah there's only two buttons on here so this isn't like a normal business you know jacket or whatever that you would wear for like a business suit those look really cool buttons on it and then I'll hold this up so you guys can see the print so just this is just so pretty so so pretty so i'll definitely be keeping um a pretty good chunk of this for myself to use in my own projects um which also translates into abby putting in her hard vault <laughs> and then i'll be sharing some with you guys as well so but yeah i thought this was really really a fun print and i'm so glad that i found it all right i'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff put back into the bag and then i will get out the other items that i purchased and i will see you guys in just a little bit okay so i am back i wanted to show this to you guys real quick so i could put all the fabric and clothing and stuff in the same bag so i'm going to go ahead and show you this is the little haul i have from that um thrift shop and it's actually in middleton idaho let me see i'll fold it up here so you guys can take a peek see without seeing all my information all right so that's where it's at in case you guys are in that area and you want to check it out all the proceeds go to well the name of the thrift shop is called idaho idaho youth ranch and the proceeds go to support that i thought that was really cool so i was happy to do some purchases there i didn't find a ton but i was happy with what i found okay so these were all bundled together so there are two of these long ones i'm sorry my fan's blowing it around um, I'll hold up so you can see. So I can kind of see the. Whoopsie, there we go. Isn't that really pretty? So I got two of those. And then there are two of these. These are more like a square, like dinner type napkin. Uh, here we go. We'll do this one. And so it's got that same design on the corner there. So I grabbed those. I thought that was a good deal. And these are placemats, and there were three. And I thought these were gorgeous. Really, really pretty floral print. You guys can see that up close. And then, this is a skirt I found in the, well, women's area, uh, clothing area. And this reminds me of, like, the fabric I would see, like, on my grandma's couch in a chair. I don't know um, if this is that old. This feels like it's older. Um, just I can't explain why. But it's from Talbot, so probably not. But it's kind of got that old vibe. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, but like in the 70s, my grandma had furniture like this color palette. But it's a skirt, so there's a lot of material there. And I'll hold it up so you can see the print on there as well. It's a really nice texture material. And then on the inside, we have the lining. It's the back side, or underside. And we have that there. So there's going to be a lot of material in that skirt to use. And then last but not least, I think these are, I just unbundled these. I didn't even know exactly, yeah, pillow shams. I didn't care what they were. I just like the, the material and I like the print. So these are pretty large. It's probably like a king, 
And I got two of those, and I'll fold it in half so you guys can see the design on here. Closer. I thought it was really, really pretty print. So um, those are the items that I got from that thrift store. Now, moving on, the rest of this is from St. Vinny's. And I'm going to do my best to not make a ton of noise as I'm putting stuff off to the side here. So this beauty here, I don't know how I walked past this the first time, but I always do a couple, at least two to three trips through the store again to see what I missed, and I missed this. And this is so pretty. This is heavy. This thing, I don't know if there's other colors under a few layers of this purple or not. It's kind of like a plum, but look at the print on there. Isn't that pretty? I definitely have a ton of this to share in some kits and whatnot. And then I always pick up all the different crochet threads and, um, you know, not really a ball, but, you know, barely, I guess you could say. I'm not sure what they call them, but that's, I got that there. And this one, of course, is going on my display shelf because purple. So that's for moi. And then I found this one. I have quite a few of these. I left a lot of these back um, in storage in Oregon. I was going to say back in Oregon, but I'm currently in Oregon. So here in Oregon. Uh, but I always pick these up when I find them, especially they're purple, because then I feel um, comfortable um, using more purple in different things that are not for me. And you might be like, comfortable? Well, I'm a little obsessed with it, so what can I say? And then I found this fun trim here, um, this fiber. I thought that was really pretty, so that'll be fun to do some stitching with for sure. And then I found, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, possibly, yeah, 10, oh, 11, 12, 13, 14, I feel like there's more, 15, so, so far I found 15 of these, and I took, I bought all that they had of these here, so there's 15, and they are labeled as, sorry, I'm putting them in the bag there, um, wicking yarn, and there are 50 yards on here, and it's 100% cotton four ply, and it's cross stitch original, so this is for cross uh, cross stitching. So there is that. Got a lot of those. Um, these are just some uh, the clothespins that uh, you can use for, you know, like making kids crafts and things like that. And I like this style for when I'm wrapping my different embroidery flosses and strings and stuff. And I try to use um, legit vintage ones in my kits that I sell. But if I do end up using some newer ones like this, you know, I do indicate that so you guys know. But these are great for um, that kind of stuff. And so those were only a couple bucks. I thought that was a good deal. Let's see here. Oh, I thought I broke my nail off. This one here I purchased. Um, I, well, one, because the packaging's old. And two, I'm not sure if I'm able to see because I don't want to unstaple it. Well, they stapled it, but it's like a really pretty light lavender color. So I thought that was pretty. And then I grabbed this container. It's got um, like stretchy like for clothing, like elastic band, and I thought that'd be interesting to do some different projects on, which I'll share with you guys. Uh, I haven't opened these up. I'm gonna wait until I get home to do that, so I can um, get everything you know laundered and sanitized and all that kind of stuff. But you can see in here, got this bag of variety of different um, like. Um, seam bindings and laces and scraps. Uh, there are some in here that are not particularly something I would probably use, but I like more of the bag than not, if that makes any sense. So I was happy to have that. And then this one here, this is, uh, oh, it says fabric removed from the bag will not be sold. Because people like to go into the thrift stores, I mean, even clothing stores, like I'll see packs of socks or, you know, sports bras, that kind of thing, and they're ripped open so people can actually uh, like pull it out and look at it. Um, so that's, they put that on their packaging there because sometimes people will take apart packages like this and then kind of take, you know, say there were two of these and they would open them up and, and cherry pick out the ones they want and put the rest in, in the other pack. They don't let you do that, of course, because they want, you know, you to buy it as they have a package. So I'll wait until I get home to open this, but you guys will see these things up close later. So there's that. It's pretty good. I'm not sure if there's multiple of these in here or if it's just like one larger one but there's that piece and then just some more really cool fibers and this is some wool i've actually ended up buying a box i'll show this to you here it's cruel wool and show that to you so it's cruel wool 
looks backwards to me. I'm not sure if it is for you guys or not. But this is a brand new box. And I do have some of this that I have used in the past. I've only been able to thrift individual skeins like this. And so I was really happy to find this um, full box of those. So this is great. And then I found it in uh, this, this colorway here. And here's a little um, sampling of some lace. And we have some seam binding. I have a couple packs. I have more than a couple. But I think there are some in that mixed bag I just showed you guys. And, oh yeah, here's some more in here. So this package here. I mean, you guys, when I was in the thrift store, my heart was like... Because I get so... Do you guys get this excited when you go thrifting? It's like I get so jacked up. I just, I love it so much. I just, I get so excited. I am way more excited going to places like this than I am... Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joann's, my husband and my kids for the last few years, they're just like, you really don't want a Hobby Lobby gift card? Well, I'll take it if you want to give it one for a present or something, but I, you know, my first choice is to go to like thrifting and estate sales and things like that. I just love it. I love all of it, of course, but I just get so excited because it's the thrill of the hunt, you guys. I mean, I was just so excited when I saw this pack sitting there. I was like, how can nobody want that? And I'm glad they didn't because I got it. So... And then uh, here's just some more fibers, purple splash, oops, but a really pretty, whoop, trying to let you guys see that there, purple colors, colorway. And then I only grabbed two, they must have had like 30, 30 of, of these, it's uh, Guy's uh, Made in Shreveport, Louisiana, but it doesn't say what it is, it's like a, it's a strip of chenille, I know that, but I don't know what it was intended for, like if it was for specific projects or something. So I grabbed the three um, packs of white. That's the only ones they had. So I grabbed that. They had um, some different colorways, um, some different, sh a few shades of greens, burgundies, um, I think some purples, but they, um, I uh, didn't grab any of those. I'm not sure why I just didn't. And then I grabbed this bag here of some different pearl cottons. And I think... I think these are all pearl. Yeah, these are all different um, sizes of pearl. And it's all purple. It's like the bag was like, Abby, come get me. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> so I was really happy to find that. That's the first one I've ever seen, just an all purple bag um, at St. Vinny's anyway. This stuff is pretty cool. Um, this feels, or this is plastic. I don't know the proper term for what this is, but it's like your plastic um, tablecloths that um, a lot of us get to do coffee dyeing and things on, like you get the doilies and stuff on it. hope that makes sense. But that's exactly what this is, but it's in trim form, but it's a plastic. So let me know in the comments below if you guys know like what this would have been used for. I mean, would you, um, it doesn't look like it was cut. Let me look at it a little closer. It doesn't look like it was cut off the edge of something, uh, but maybe, I don't know. Or wait, is this adhesive strip on the back? Let's see. Oh, it is, that's an adhesive. Okay, so this has um, adhesive strip on the bottom. So I'm assuming you would just, I guess, run this around your table, the edge of your table or something. I don't know, I've never seen it like this before, so, but I was excited to have it and to find it and then um, use this in some kits as well. All right, and then I found this uh, these packages here. This is cross-stitch fabric or material, whatever you want to call it. But um, I like the texture of it, and I use it for my kind of stitching because I don't do, like, cross-stitch proper. Um, this is cross-stitch fabric here, but I like the color, so I grab that. Um, let's see, we'll do those last. I only grabbed one book this time. I'm surprised. I usually end up with quite a few because there's such a good deal there. But um, this is says Burns Poems, and I just liked the pages, the way it looks, just the old. And I like the fact that just, it's just full of different poems. So I can, you know, cut out certain ones and use them in different parts of a journal or tags. You know, all the kinds of stuff we use these old books and pages for. And then I just love the way the spine looks. So this would be a, a fun journal or book to repurpose into a journal of some sort. So I was really happy to have found this one. I thought that was really, really fun. And then these records... And I only bought these for the packaging for the record sleeves because I love how those look. And these are great to put in journals, as we all know. I'm not telling you guys anything you don't know. I'm just kind of explaining what, you know, my thoughts are, why I bought them. And so the records all recycle the actual records themselves. And then I found uh, just three 
different books of sheet music, vintage, oops, so you guys can't even see, vintage sheet music, and I like to, um, you know, I've been putting these in my different fabric and textile packs in between the layers just for something kind of fun, and so I want, I grabbed a few more of those. I didn't bring a ton of these with me from Oregon. I brought a pretty good selection, but not, I definitely have more in storage, so. All right, and the last but not least, this to me, aside from that pink upholstery fabric I showed you earlier, this is the deal of the day, not fabric related. Probably, maybe even more than the um, upholstery fabric I showed you. So, either somebody had passed away or they just got out of doing embroidery. I don't know. But I, they had them all like this. And you could buy just one if you wanted to. But I bought this. Actually, Steve grabbed them and it's like, you need all of these. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for thrifting with me today. So... But these are all full. I think one's like maybe three quarters. And they're all in the bobbin cards. I don't prefer to store my embroidery threads and flosses this way. Um, I used to before. Um, I like to kind of wrap mine around the, the, the old clothespins like I showed you guys or different things. But, you know, I definitely appreciate all the time and effort. And I'll keep them this way. I'm not going to unwind them. That'd be, you know, crazy town. But she, on all of hers except for the one I just, well, there's a couple. I shouldn't say all, so I know that. Um, I'll show these up so you guys can see. So some of these colors may be repeated. I don't know. I don't know exactly if she was trying to do them in rainbow order. I mean, I don't know. I mean, everybody kind of organizes these things as they want to. But this one here, the color's in there. So the reason I grabbed these, one, because they're a good deal, but I also thought it'd be fun to include in my different, um, slow stitch kits and stuff to put like maybe three to four different bobbins uh, different bobbin colors that coordinate with the fabrics and then kind of just include them on the cards like that instead of taking them off like I usually do but I've never ha I've never thrifted this many let's put it that way at one that were all on the cards like this so you can see here make sure it's right side up okay it's going to be upside down these are all taped closed and I don't want to open until I get home but you can see even though it's backwards she cataloged them so that is really cool. A lot of time and effort went into do that. And so I, I absolutely appreciate that she did that. Or he, who knows, um, who did this. But this one here, this is, yeah, this is the only one that doesn't have a full set. But it's just like one um, one row, like one in, um, one row and then one square in the bottom. So there we that. And then last but not least, we have, oh yeah, this one too, she also did the cataloging on. And if I like to store my embroidery flosses this way, I would do the same thing because I'm a very organized person. But since I don't keep track of the colors that I'm using, because I'm not selling, um, I'm not like following a kit or a pattern where it says, you know, use, you know, these five different color uh, of pinks or whatever. I just kind of grab what I want and just, just by the shade or tone of the floss. Um, and I'm not like selling embroidery kits, meaning where you, I make a sample, you guys see it, you say, yeah, I like it. I like to make that myself. And, um, I'm not repeating the same colors. Yeah, I'm trying to, I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say. So that's the main reason why I don't do that because I don't keep track of my, um, floss colors that way. But if I was, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not a true embroiderer. I do embroider, but I'm not like using it where I need to keep track of the numbers. I hope that makes sense. But I absolutely appreciate the time and effort that went into that. So because that's going to be fantastic to have. All right, you guys. Oops, sorry. That was probably loud. So I'm going to go and wrap this up. I am done. i got to get everything packaged back up so when I get home, I can um, launder the things I need to and get things sorted and put away. So I think that's everything I got because I had stuff in a couple different um, spots. That's it. So, all right, so I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. And the next time you see these goodies that will be back home in Montana with myself. So I'll see you next time. Bye.